Leo, your divine soul, how are you? My name is Vince, welcome to 7D Tarot. If this message resonates, like, subscribe, and comment. And for more clarity on your situation, check out your sun, moon, and rising signs. If you would like to schedule your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. And for a totally fresh perspective, check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. You can find her info in the description box as well. And Leo, make sure you stay tuned until the end of your reading where I will pull a final message from the universe tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. Wow, so many good things happening for you. Right now, the fact that you got the Ace of Cups, the fact that you got the world here, I see possibly travel on the horizon for you. And I do see you meeting someone that is on the same energetic frequency as yourself on this travel. So if someone comes up to you and says, hey, I got some tickets, I can't use them. Would you like them? Say yes. If your boss says time for a business trip, say yes. If you want to take that vacation and the opportunity presents itself, now is the time to capitalize on it. Now is the time to dive in. You are going to really be able to match someone's energy and you're going Going to be attracting each other's energy to each other. Now, Spirit is also telling you that during this time to really focus inwards, focus on getting in alignment, being the best version of yourself because you always manifest who you are, not what you want. And I do see here that both of you are evolving on your spiritual journey. Both of you see the abundance in everything. And both of you are very good receivers, right? You're both in alignment. You're both flowing. So right now, Spirit is telling you that the more you focus on who you are, the more you manifest who you are, the sooner you're going to, to have this opportunity present itself. Remember, your angels and guides never want to bring you an opportunity unless you are ready because they don't want to see you fail. So if we're waiting, they're actually waiting on us. And I do see here that there was some sort of loss that happened recently or is going to happen in your life. And you're going to put, this is nothing more than a lesson because you're going to tell yourself, why did this happen? But this happened because there's a lesson in the situation. So don't beat yourself up. For example, if you were in a relationship, it didn't work out. What was the lesson in that situation? What, what, what parts of the relationship did you like? What parts would you change? And you know, what parts, you know, were warning signs, for example. Or imagine you had a business and the business, you know, didn't go perfect. Perfectly, rather than tell yourself, oh, it was a failure, tell yourself, what did I learn? What was the lesson? Maybe the lesson was overhead. Maybe the lesson was, you know, a, a, a location, whatever the case is. But I do see here, the moment you relieve this pressure off yourself, and the moment that you start focusing on planting the seeds in the present moment of abundance, that's when good things will happen. And right now, your angels and guys are telling you to pivot, change course, bring your awareness right back to the present, and stop focusing on what, is, what happened in the familiar past and coming up with a predictable future. You did not lose anything. You gained data. You gained valuable information. And right now, your angels and guides are telling you also, this is the time not to put so much pressure on yourself. So if you're telling yourself, I shoulda, woulda, coulda, why did I, any of that, don't should yourself, right? Alicia and I always say, do not shit yourself. Leo, you are the ish. You are the best. Imagine if you... Imagine if you had a friend and that friend had a voice of an angel. Whenever they sung, it's just like everyone stopped and listened to them. Now, imagine if you saw what they had, but imagine if they didn't have the confidence within. They're just like, oh, I sound so horrible. You're like, what are you talking about? You're the best. You're amazing. This is what's happening here. Your angels and guys are trying to remind you, you are the best. You are the best at everything. You got to have heart coherence. You have a beautiful energy about you. You don't have a bad bone in your body and the universe is going to give you your desires. But this is a choice. You have to love yourself first, dog love, right? You got to love yourself first. When you love yourself, when you're surrounding your energy with abundance, the divine spark that created this entire universe is within your body. When you're looking at things from the, from the glass half full perspective, the universe is doing everything for you, not to you. You're in the, in the receiving mode. You're a good receiver. You're going to get so many downloads, clarities, answers. Everything will make sense. But if we're wishing, wanting, hoping, needing, and we're just lost, and we're trying to get caught up in the matrix, and we're looking at you know people on social media, and we're Comparing ourselves to them, for example, that's when opportunities won't present themselves. Comparison is the thief of joy. And for example, don't be quick to judge, judge others as well because that is a, the, the quickest way to lower frequency. So your angels and guides are telling you to know your worth. Remember, you are the ish, Leo. Hear that lion, lion roar. But on top of that, take steps to reprogram your subconscious mind because your mind is going to a time where, <laughs> again, it is it brings you to the scarcity mindset of I had something, I lost something, and it's siphoning energy away from the present moment. Now, how can you do so? Well, I know if I like to keep my energy in the present moment, I think of stuff that's happening in the now. I think of stuff. For example, say if I'm going for a walk and then all of a sudden my mind wanders and it starts thinking of things I don't have, for example. I'll start naming things I see. I'll be like, okay, oh, here's my mind wandering. I am aware that this is not in my benefit, so I'm going to start naming stuff. Car, stop sign, bird, blah, blah, blah. Start naming anything I see, right? Then my awareness comes back. Whenever you say reclaim your power, this is what we're talking about. 
Now look at this, right? The fact that you got the high priestess next to the queen of cups, your angels and guys are telling you that you are spiritual, you are sexy, you are confident, you are attractive when you're tapping into your superpowers, which is your spirituality. What does this mean? When I met my wife, Alicia, I was so attracted to her, not only because I loved her vibrations, but because she had more knowledge than me, right? Like for example, I had that king of wands energy. I could take over the world. I don't take no for an answer. Business oriented. If I want something, I go get it. I have zero fear in me. Now, what did I not have? This is 14 years ago. I didn't even know what the law of attraction was. When she first told me about the law of attraction, I laughed. I thought it was a Disney movie. I'm like, oh, that's so cute. Then I looked into it and I'm like, what the heck? Quantum entanglement, quantum physics, law of attraction, vibration, energy, frequency. There's a science behind Behind this, I tried it, my, my business 4X, I couldn't believe it. Until this day, I look at her and ah, oh, you changed my life. Same thing about you, know your worth. Know that when you are tapping into your spiritual powers, this is when you're confident and everyone wants to be around your vibration. This is how you get that promotion at work. This is how you date that person. This is how you really put in, in tapping into the energy frequency and opportunities of people that are in harmony with you. But whenever we're looking at things from a perspective of, you know, I don't have nothing to offer, I'm so silly, why would someone date me? This scarcity mindset, which is the most shameful behavior experience ever, I used to do this all the time, your angels and guys are up there like, oh my goodness, why is Leo doing this? Leo is the best, right? I remember like when I used to do this, oh, I'm so, I know no one loves me and all this stuff like, my angels were just like, wow, is Vince really playing himself with doing this right now? This energy has to go. And right now your angels and guys are telling you that there is a third party with that three of pentacles that's been waiting to enter your life and this person is going to mentor you, guide you, shape your life in very, very different ways and beautiful ways. But unless you have hard coherence and trust yourself, they're not gonna be able to help you. Why? Because if you don't believe in yourself, then other people won't believe in you as well. What does this mean? I'll give you an example. I have Amazon businesses, we sell products. If I don't believe in my product, how am I supposed to expect someone to part ways with their hard earned money and buy my product? Same thing with love. When I meet someone, for example, when I before Alicia, or even when I met Alicia, I was saying, hello, my name is Vince, I am team awesome. Here's why it's in your benefit to join my team. I am positive, optimistic, funny, charming I will protect you spiritually physically financially in all aspects I got you covered now if I didn't believe any of that how would I expect someone to be with me right you got this is real stuff so right now spirit is telling you surrender let go of fear which is garbage and instead pick up the handle of love which is confidence this is a choice you got this Leo you got this remember who you are expect command assume right this is how you will get what you're looking for this is how you let your angels and guides know I am tapping into the spiritual mystical and quantum I'm no longer wishing waiting wanting hoping needing none of this energy the matrix but instead I'm tapping into the field and I'm attracting what I'm looking for and then by tapping into being excited thankful and grateful which is the perfect emotional signature of gratitude and learning and creation and love, you're fast tracking the energy of abundance by reprogramming your subconscious mind. So remember, it is a choice. Do we choose to be scared or do we choose to be excited? All right, Leo, I am going to pull a final message from the universe for you right now. And let's see what message do we have. Let's do one more shuffle. Let's do one more shuffle. Oh, there we are. And right now the universe says... Catch your breath. And look at this beautiful card. And I will read from the book for you. This is number 15. Catch your breath. Right now the universe says, take a, breath, take a break and enjoy a quiet period. This time can be used to regroup, recover, and stabilize yourself. It is wise to keep in mind the fact that this is for a limited period of time. You are, pers you are pausing to regain your footing. As you evaluate your environment, check to see if you need to clear any ill will with anyone. Ask for forgiveness and be willing to forgive as necessary to move forward. Enjoy this downtime. Acknowledge the importance of recharging your energy so you are refreshed and ready to tackle life and any challenges that may come your way. Forgiveness is a gift you give yourself. If you are holding on to anyone's energy, you literally have an energetic cord attached to them. It's like being shackled to their energy. Your angels, the universe is telling you this is a time right now to forgive yourself and forgive them. So if someone did something, they hurt you and you're thinking about them, tell yourself, I forgive them. They're caught up in the matrix. What do I expect? Now you've got the energetic cord. You're able to move on or forgive yourself. For example, if you're like, I did something and I hurt somebody or this situation wasn't perfect. Wow. I should have known better. Tell yourself, I am human. I'm collecting data. I'm learning stuff. I know what to do with not to do and I forgive myself. This is what your angels and guides want. This is what the universe wants for you. What the heck was that? That is the message. You hear that ring? That's your angels right there. Synchronicities, right?
So forgive my sisters, my brothers, forgive yourself because no one wants you to put pressure on yourself other than the ego, but the ego does not have the same agenda or our best interests at heart. All right, Leo, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. Thank you, thank you. Till next time, ciao.